All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have the Spigen liquid air case here for the Samsung Galaxy S22. Now in this review, I'm going to be doing a review of this case for the S22 with this model of the S22, and it's to help you make that educated decision if you like the look of the case and if you want to spend the money on it before you get your pre-order unit. So this one is $15.99 with an instant 5% off uh, kind of instant coupon that you can use. And uh, it's on Amazon with Prime Shipping. I got it in one day, so very easy shipping as usual. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the packaging here. So with the packaging, it is very similar to all other Spigen cases as far as their boxes go. So you have the logo there at the top. You have a picture of the case here. And then obviously it says for the Galaxy and Galaxy S22 liquid air and the color is matte black. They do make one other color, which I believe it's called Abyss Green. Yes, Abyss Green, uh, but it didn't have it in stock, so I was gonna pick it up so y'all can see both colors, but uh, nothing really special on the back. So let's get it out. So I'll just pull the tab and pull this case out. Same old, same old packaging as usual. And here it is. So here is the liquid air. So very traditional looking liquid air case if you're familiar with them. On the inside, you have that recognizable kind of spiderweb material or pattern inside of the case. You have that um, kind of Latin logo looking thing there. On the uh, corners here, you do have their air cushion technology. So that way, if you drop the phone, it's supposed to help dissipate the energy away. So hopefully it helps prevent a break. But all in all, it's a very slim case that's still gonna give you some pretty decent protection. So let's grab the S22 here and just slap it in. So very easy. And there we go. So there is the liquid air installed. So as you can see here, that pattern that's pretty recognizable. I've always said it reminds me of like a car tire, but definitely has that really cool recognizable pattern and look. It has a pill shape cutout for the actual uh, lenses. But as you can see here, uh, it is raised a little bit, so that way you are able to get that lens protection, as you can see there. So definitely going to be able to uh, feel confident placing it back down on a surface or something. And you do have a single hole cut out there for the actual lens, or excuse me, the flash there. And then, yeah, so there's the look. Now let's look at the sides here. So with the sides, it has that kind of slit cut um, kind of side that helps with the grip. You can feel it when you're holding it like that. Uh, I always liked that because, like I said, when I'm holding it right now, I can definitely feel that. But uh, something to point out, something that I just really noticed as I'm doing this is that the way the button placement is with the Galaxy S22, when I'm holding it like this, since it's a smaller form factor now, my finger wants to rest on that power button, which might not be that bad of a deal because I can just kind of push it and boom, turn the screen on. But uh, as you can see, that's kind of the look of the buttons. They are raised, as you can see there, too. So yeah, like that, got some teeth there on the power button as well. At the bottom, as you can see here, we do have a single cutout here that is stretched across for the USB-C port and the mic. And then you have another cutout there dedicated for the speakers. On this side, we have nothing except that grippy pattern. And then here at the bottom, whoops, flipped it over. We do have Spigen there. So it's kind of a gloss black Spigen, so very minimal. And then at the top, we do have a single hole uh, cut out there for the microphone. On the front of the screen here, as you can see, we do have some raised lips that do cover the whole entire perimeter of the screen. So you're definitely gonna get some decent screen protection with this case, just like all the other liquid air cases in the past. And then looking here at the top, you can see that's kind of how the cutout is for the um, speaker up top. So it's just kind of raised up and then kind of folds over. So as you can see there, I don't know if the video is gonna do it justice, but it does definitely uh, kinda go over that a little bit, but looks very minimal. So there's kind of the look of the front, there's the back. Now, as far as the overall kind of feel of the phone, it feels really good in this, very extremely thin. Now let's go ahead and do the wobble test here real quick. So let's go ahead and put it back down. Now there's a little bit of wobble, but it's very minimal. So if you do care about that, 
and then going face down, it's completely flat, so no issues at all. Uh, it is Qi wireless charging compatible, so obviously I can't do that with this review because unfortunately it is a dummy unit. But at the end of the day, this is really meant to show you the, the case instead of just pictures on Amazon or Spigen's website and help you with that purchase decision. Uh, it feels good, guys. It's a Spigen case, has this really great grip on the sides. You can fill it all the way up and down here. So it just feels very good in the hands and looks really good as well. So there we have it. I definitely would recommend this case if you are looking to buy a very thin case, but Spigen makes a ton of them. So you kind of have uh, a hard choice unless you just want to buy them all. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.